So we've take, talked about the different types of energy, gravitational and kinetic. Um, obviously there's elastic and all the others as well, but we, we have to now talk about power. Power is very often misunderstood. Power is the rate at which work is done. Okay, the rate at which work is done. And it's akin to speed. If power is to power is to speed as energy is to or I should say power is to energy as speed is to distance. Okay, it's basically if if speed is distance divided by time, then power is energy or work done divided by time. Okay, so we can say P is work change of work of course over the change of time and that's basically what we want to know about now the units for it of course we know that you we already know the units for work that's joules we know the units for time that's the second i hope we do by now anyway and of course the unit for power well what is the unit for power that's what i like to ask and it is watts okay uh symbol w um, it's a capital W because it's named after someone. Now, um, obviously, if we think about this, where can we apply, how does this overlap with what we've been looking at so far? If um, work done is force times by change of displacement, then we can think, well, we can substitute this lot into there. So we can think of an alternative way of representing power. We can say power <coughs> will be force times change of displacement over change of time, which is of course equal to force times by the velocity. Okay, so that would be velocity uh, in meters per second squared. Meters per second, sorry. And that's really handy. This thing here, this little equation here, P equals F V, is one of those things that actually um, comes up quite a lot, it's very handy um, and uh, a lot of students sort of overlook it and, and don't sort of place any, um, place any particular note on it, okay? So that's what power is, it's basically the rate at which work is done, the rate at which energy is transferring from one form to another, okay? Um, dead simple, units of watts and it's very handy to know that if you're overcoming a force then the power that you're developing is the force times by the velocity that you're direct, moving in the direction of that force. Okay, so that's power, piece of cake. And then the final thing is efficiency. Now efficiency hasn't changed since GCSE. It's the one thing I'm pleased to report is basically exactly how you left it. And it is the ratio of useful energy output to total energy input, and it will always be that. So that's what efficiency is. Um, fish C and C is basically useful. Uh, energy out divided by total energy in and and then it sometimes expressed as a ratio and it's sometimes expressed as a percentage and unfortunately that hasn't changed from GCC it's still sometimes expressed as one or sometimes expressed as the other but generally speaking it's a percentage you can see consider any as a percentage. Now, this of course, <coughs> energy out, energy per second out, and energy per second in is the same. You've got per second on the bottom and per second on the top, that cancels each other out. So it applies evenly if you're talking about the energy out or the power out. So we could actually, I'm not gonna bother writing that whole lot again, but this word here could be, okay, that could be power. And this here could also be power as well. You could switch it for power. So that's efficiency basically, um, and that is all you need to know, you lucky things. <laughs>